unboxing of this TVS temper filter that we have received from the supplier. Let us unbox this and see how it will be. Specifications, parts, number, serial number, everything here mentioned. Okay. okay. manual here is one how to make the use so I'm taking this so these are the its accessories so to the side and this is the new printer that uh, This is the printer we have just unboxed it and now we are going to load the printer ribbon as well as uh, its carbon so that uh, it is ready to print the barcode labels. The box let us see what are the accessories which are there in this. And if we open this one, we have a power cable here. So this we need to connect to the printer. And this is a connector. This is USB connector. This is needs to be connected to uh, system or laptop through this uh, printer. And these are the accessories which are used for uh, installing the labels and uh, the carbon. This. This uh, green uh, stick type of uh, accessory which is used to hold this uh, barcode label. So inside this we need to insert this one and we need to install in the printer. And this is one more accessory which holds the carbon uh, ribbon. So this I have already installed in this one. You can see here. So I have inserted uh, inside this carbon. So this one. You can see left and right uh, which is printed over here. So L means this is the left side. So I will show you later how to install this uh, in the printer. And one more stick which is uh, holding the another side. So it will uh, just load and this will unload. So it, uh, uh, both I will show you how to install this. this is a small box uh, having the adapter for uh, attach into this power cable so this, uh, join this to here later we have this one cable for connecting to system and the printer and this is the printer so to open this one you have uh, buttons here you can see here zigzag uh, shapes this side and one more will be having another side so these two we need to press and 
we need to open like this. This is the how your printer looks. Here we need to so this uh, portion holds the barcode labels and this portion holds the uh, ribbon. So that is a carbon ribbon and the printer will come through this side. From here the roll will uh, unload and uh, here we will get the output the printed labels. So in order to open this cabin we need to press this green button they have given. In order to press this and just release. Press and release so that uh, it will open like this. So through this uh, the label will come out. I will show you how to install this one. So they have given one uh, uh, printed uh, labels. So this uh, specification mentions uh, some specification they have given like serial number, speed of the printer, size, what is the gap between the labels, everything they have given. So don't worry about this. And in order to close this one, you need to just hold it and just press. You will get one sound like a locked sound. So in order to open, just you hold it with this left side and press this green button, then release. Okay. So, so once you switch on this, you will get a, a confirmation light here. So to switch on this one, you will have the buttons here. You can see your backside power button. And this is the USB cable port and this is the power cable port. So I will show you this later. Let us first uh, so install this uh, using those barcode labels and uh, carbon label. So carbon ribbon now I am going to install. So we have this carbon label. So this bigger one. So which is first we need to install this here inside and then this smaller one will be holds here. So I will show you first I will install this bigger one. You can see here this is left. So this should come side this side. Left side. So for that what I will do I will just so hold this and press the screen button and it will open like this. So first we need to install this bigger one. So keep this smaller one free and first we need to install this you can see here this is a spring here you have a spring here so you need to press this and so attach this side so i'll show you first we need to one second just a stop on so I will install this one. So just open this uh, uh, this right first uh, plate. Then uh, just press this. Just press and hold. And it should uh, do. Confirmation of uh, locking. So it will be locked here. Just press and rotate. It will just uh, lock to that locking portion. Now it is locked. So whatever is left, you just tighten this one. Then just roll this extra portion, extra portion ribbon from the smaller one. From the other end, you just roll it. This is the old ribbon we are using actually. So if you use the new one, it will be a better. Just uh, roll this one, and then so this should sit over here. Just roll it and just uh, fix it here. Just you press this one and uh, just place it here. It will lock. Yes, 
finally we have uh, installed this carbon ripper just rotate this one yes now it is ready just properly check the alignment yes now the carbon uh, level is completely fixed yes it is attached Just a minute. This ribbon is just little bit okay. So after this, so we need to close this one. Then uh, let us install the label. So take this uh, green stick and put it inside. So this should be. So always remember this label should be above. These should these label. So over here we will uh, print the barcode. So this should be facing upside. So below it will not going to print. So here it will be printing. So first place this here. Put this inside. Take the label through this one. Place it here and through this stick. Place it here and just keep like this. So now this label should pass between these two clips. You can see here clips. So these we need to just enlarge. Manually you just enlarge like this. Just pull outside. So this is also going to pull other side. So this label should pass through this one. You just tighten this one, not too much tight and too much uh, loose. You can see here. So this label should easily pass in between these two clips. Okay, now it is ready. Just close this one. Hold and press like this. So you will get a sound. Now it is locked. So let us close this one. Now it is ready for printing. Now let us check whether it is going to print or not. So now I will connect the power cable and also I will connect this cable. You can see here this is the port which is connected to the power port. So there it is connected. So from there So now we have switched on. Now Oops. let us uh, insert this USB cable also. So this USB cable has two ports. We need to just connect to the laptop or else you can connect to your CPU also. Now I am connecting to the laptop and other end you can see here. So this port you need to connect to here. You can see this end port should be facing upside and place it. In order to identify this, you can see the mark here. This marking should be facing upside. Just place and connect. Now it is connected. So now you can see here there is no indication of power because we have not turned on. So now I am going to turn on this. Just press this button so that you will get the so indication that this printer is ready for printing. So now I will just give one print. We will see. So now I have opened the label shop printer. So this software I have already installed. Uh, so here you will get three options. So open an existing document or create new document or label shop online help. So we will uh, go for this create new document and uh, click on next. So that we will get this label setup window. So you can see here printer jumper 4520. So this printer I have already, uh, printer driver I have already installed. So if you want to install this, uh, I have given the link of this in the description box or you can uh, visit the official website of jumper that is TBS. Uh, you can directly go for uh, label. Now I want two labels, so each width I know it is 50, 
I will enter 50 here. So horizontal it should be 0. So height is uh, 25 mm and uh, vertically it should be 3 mm apart and columns I want 2. You can see here each label is having 50 mm and 25 mm height, 20, 50 mm width and 25 mm height and uh, they are separated by 3 mm gap horizontally, vertically there is no gap. So if I click on OK, so you will get one blank uh, label here. So now I will go and uh, select this one, you can see here barcode, add a barcode object, just click here and drag it, you will get one barcode like this, this is a test barcode you can print. Now I will go for file, then I will go for print, before that you can check the print preview, you can see here two print previews, now I will go for a print, it will ask for the quantity, now I will select this as two and just print. If you click on print, you can see the print it is happening. Now I will give one more print. So again I am going to print the same two quantity. Click on print. You can see the labels. So properly it is printing. Let me check one more. You can see the barcodes are printing properly. So now your printer is ready. Now you can use it for uh, printing the barcode labels. Thank you.